идти в это. Hi YouTube, this is Georgia for Beauty and the Budget and today we are going to be talking about The Ordinary again but this time I will be using their most popular product which is their AHA 30% plus 2% BHA peeling solution. Now this is a 10 minute exfoliating facial and you're probably wondering then Georgia, why I use facial for? Why do you need to use a skin dealer? Well okay, let's back up a bit here. Alright, so this is a chemical exfoliator. What does a chemical exfoliator do? Well, it resurfaces the skin on a chemical level. So instead of you physically scrubbing the skin, like with the scrubs or, you know, from those popular skincare brands that you always see on the, on the shelves, instead of you scrubbing and rubbing and I run the risk of tearing or making abrasions to the skin, the chemical peel does that on a micro level below the surface of the skin. So kind of like when, you know, when you used to be... Growing up, I used to see sometimes your skin stripping and then it strips. And then when you move the skin or that dead skin, it reveals like a brand new baby looking skin underneath it. Well, that's pretty much the same thing. So we're going to be doing a mild stripping of the skin using the chemical exfoliator, but it's not as intimidating as it sounds, I promise you, right? However, you do have to be careful with these products once again. Remember, the Ordinary's products, they are chemical based, so you do have to follow the instructions. So read the instructions carefully at the back. And for example, one of the things that um, it says on the back of the bottle, ensure that you are not doing any kind of exfoliating or any harsh things to the skin before you use the product. Also, your face should be completely dry before putting the product on the skin. But don't worry about all of that because I'm going to show you how to use it today. Now, bear in mind, I am not an esthetician, I'm not a dermatologist, I'm simply a skincare junkie who likes to find good beauty finds on a budget. Now, to be fair, I already did my patch test because I couldn't make it on your camera in front of everybody, so, but it didn't. <laughs> So a patch test is essentially putting a little bit of the product on a section of your skin and waiting the time that it says um, on the bottle, the 10 minutes period, and just checking to see if you have any kind of irritation. You see, if you don't have any irritation after doing the patch test, you're pretty much good to go. But still, don't push it. Do not go over the allocated time as recommended on the bottle because remember that that time is the absolute, absolute limit. All right? So... First things first, why am I using an exfoliator again? I would like to get rid of, for me, because remember, everybody's skin is different. I'm using a chemical exfoliator to get rid of dullness because, you know, sometimes your skin gets clogged. You're using a lot of makeup products, um, dead skin cells. You know, the other day we had the, the dust storm, which I don't even think that gone yet, you know. So we, I, I use these products to help the turnover of my skin and to just keep it fresh and keep it glowing. Also, I am having a little bit of a texture problem with my skin. As you can see, there are some areas of concern. No, not this. This is a mole. And this is a mole. And I think there is a mole. This is a mole right here. But you see everything else now, you see I'm having some hyperpigmentation. And this thing here is actually some blackheads gone rogue in the corner of my nostril right here. Now this is the bane of my existence which is these things come up at that time of the month so it's a constant struggle it's a constant constant struggle right so um other than that there are some texture issues so just to kind of even back out my skin and give it a fair chance to get rid of the dullness and the little you know rough look i will be using it to exfoliate on that level all right. No, I'm going to be reading the instructions so at least you know what are the key things to remember when you are using this product. Once again, you only use it once the skin is completely dry. Do not use any harsh things about to go scrub your skin with no um, scent eyes or anything like that before you use this because you will burn. It is chemical so you literally would be piling on two types of exfoliation on your face and that is just not cute because what will happen now your skin will scar, right? So, um, some of the things it says that this also, you need to use sunscreen if it is that you're going to be out in the sun. Everybody that's on lockdown know what I mean. You're going to be out in the sun. If you're going to be out in the sun, put on a little sunscreen or try to stay as protected as possible, right? Because this does increase your sensitivity to the sun after you use it, right? And for heaven's sake, please do not put it in here. So when you are using it, do not put it in your eye contour because this skin here is particularly delicate. And I have another product that I'll be using to address my dark circles here. I do wear glasses, so it causes a lot of darkness here and I'm prone to um, darkness also under my eyes because that is genetic for me. But I'll be using a product there from The Ordinary also. I can't wait to tell you which one. So when it comes, I will do the unboxing and then I'll do the reveal, right? But for now, we'll use this. 
All right, so first things first, you have to cleanse the skin. So to cleanse the skin, we're going to be using a gentle cleanser, right? Or for me, I'll be using the ordinary squalene cleanser. I don't know if you can see that, but here it is. So it's their squalene cleanser. It's very gentle. Like I said, do not use any exfoliating product on your skin. The most gentle of cleansers that you can find, that is, how you're, that is what you're going to be using. Now, to use a squalane cleanser, you, it's an oil-based plant, oil-based um, product. So you warm it up in the hands, and then you spread it across. You spread it across the skin. So it has an emollient or oil, oily kind of consistency to it. It's very thick. It smells very fresh and it's very gentle, very gentle on the skin. Remember when you're doing your facial care, do not neglect your neck because if you don't remember your neck, nobody will. So just always remember your neck. Go into the crevices of the skin, right? Under here for me and just be very gentle. Also, if you are going to be using the skin peel, Please, if it is that you have any cuts or any bruises or any abrasions that are open, any skin situation that you're trying to sort out, leave it alone. Don't touch it until that situation has been sorted out because you can give yourself a chemical burn and nobody wants that, right? So now I'm, I have on the gentle cleanser. So I'm going to wash my face and get back to you. All right, so back again. And what I'm doing, I'm gently patting my skin dry with a towel and I'm patting it I'm not rubbing it because to rub it would be risking further irritation and I'm ensuring that all my creases and crevices are completely dry as per instruction on the product bottle okay now what makes the ordinary so special is that this Canadian based company they found a way to revolutionized skincare in terms of making it more affordable yes when you talk while i'm waiting on it to dry they found a way to revolutionize skincare while making it more affordable for the average person so these formulations they are not expensive or not very expensive because in comparison to the other skincare products they normally go like 80 us 65 us 65 us dollars and if you're jamaican like me that means 65 times 140 something 150 something 130 something depending on what day of the week right so you know it's not cheap but with these products these products are like seven dollars i think this one was seven dollars and twenty cents um for this and so it kind of turned the whole skincare game on its head in that we are able to get affordable products but it's just a matter of knowing what works best with your skin. Now, as I said before, I'm not a dermatologist, I'm not an esthetician, but what is unique also about Ordinary is that they have skincare advisors. So when you go on the site, if it is that you're not sure what to use on your skin, then you can actually oh ask them, God. tell them the texture of your skin. You can even send them a picture and then they will be able to advise what from your range of products um, can be used to treat with that condition, all right? So there's that. Now we're gonna get into it. You have waited long enough. So first, no. Skin is dry. So, this is the consistency of the products. Now, what some people do, they put it on their hands. Take the right amount out of the dropper. Don't take more than enough. But remember that, you know, you don't want to waste it, right? Some people put it on their hands. But others, like me, we put the, 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 the serum directly on the skin uh oh i just touched my eye contour the very thing that i was supposed to avoid now if it is that you have anything that is stainable like me wearing this white t-shirt make sure it's one of your yard t-shirt now this looks kind of gross so after putting it on i'm going to spread it across the face do not scrub it across the face people just be as gentle as possible you're pretty much tap tap tapping it onto the face no the first time i did my patch test because I, I said it that i did a patch test prior to me you now using this product the first time i did a patch test it was kind of tingly kind of stingy kind of tingly um so you may experience that but it's not supposed to be 
Oh dear God, it hurts. It's not supposed to be like that kind of situation. If it's that kind of situation, no, God, this product is not for you, right? This product is not for you. It's something that can also be applied onto the neck, but I never put out enough, take out enough. So whatever residue is left on my hands, that is what is going up, up on my neck. Because when people are doing skincare, you know, sometimes they only focus on this little part here, the part with the eyes, the nose, the mouth. But what about hair? On the hair? You see, that's a part of the face too, right? So... We just take a little bit more, whatever is left in the dropper, which is this, and just put a little here and a little here. And I'm gonna carry this into the corner and under. Don't rub rub it too hard because you see you can find it has a little soggy kind of thing. Do not be putting it on your lips. Okay? That is also a very delicate area. Do not put it in your eye socket or your eye contour. Um Unfortunately, some of it has kind of spilled in this one. Kind of take out a little bit. All right, there we go. So from here so to here, so don't put it in there so because that is a delicate area that you do not want to be messing with. I promise you. Right? And then let the games begin. So you're using a timer now. It says no more than 10 minutes. This is like a mask of sorts. So you know, I have my little... My little fan right here. My free fan. It's my free fan. Leave me alone. So, I turn it on. Alright. So, what I do, I just fan to kind of speed up the drying process. Um, the first time I used it, I did not do it for the entire 10 minutes because I was scared. <laughs> I didn't do it for the 10 minutes. I did it for about 6-7 minutes. Because I didn't want to push my limits with this thing. Knowing that I'm a first time user of AHAs and BHAs. So if it is that you are not used to chemical peels or chemical exfoliators. Just take your time with it. There's no rush. Because it's something that you can apply once or twice weekly. No more than that. Depending on how your skin tolerates the product. And as you can see, I use very little. Very little are just enough because it's not as if the more you apply the faster it work or the more it work it just means the more bony you get so <laughs> right now the thing is on my skin i am just feeling uh it feels warm um there's a slight tingle to it like around my nose like it just feels warm and kind of tingly kind of like when you put rubbing alcohol on your skin with the, with the one with the peppermint or the beer rum wear yeah, that one so that's it all right, so I'm going to go and do my countdown and I will join you back in a few minutes. All right, so back with you guys. Um, so it's been on for about eight minutes. So I'm almost ready to wash it off. Give it a 30 second countdown. Now nah, I'm ready. All right, so I'm going to wash this thing off. Um, it's... It doesn't get very much drier than what you see here. Because as I said, it's a serum. It's kind of oily. It has an oily texture. So this is what it looks like when it's seeping into the skin. Now, full disclaimer for me. Um, well, while I was waiting on it to dry, the garbage man came and I had to go out there in the sun, put my peel on. So I hope <laughs> I don't suffer. I probably scared the garbage man too, but yeah, I'm hoping I don't suffer because I ran out there with a peel on my face like, what are you doing with my garbage? Get me back. I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to wash it off now and then we'll get right back to what we do after we apply the peel. Okay guys, so I'm back and I've just washed the peel off. Remember to make sure to wash in Cool or lukewarm water. No warm water here, please. Because remember, you're trying your best not to irritate the skin. And when you're drying, you're going to pat dry. Do not wipe the thing. Don't wipe the thing. Don't wipe it. Don't run. No. We are just going to wipe. I mean, pat. <laughs> We're going to pat dry. And ensure that you have thoroughly rinsed this thing off properly. Because, as I said, this is, this is a chemical. And it does its thing just like how you have those chemical relaxers if you don't wash it out properly the reaction is still happening in this in the hair yeah you don't want that to continue to happen so you just 
ensure that you rinse it off thoroughly rinse off all traces okay some persons on the fancier side of the skincare line they um have neutralizing products that they can put on the skin to kind of stop the reaction but for us layman budget people we just wash the skin make sure it's all traces of the product in your hair line these places ensure that it is all gone okay so yeah so I was oh saying. my god wow. so it's going to you're going to be seeing the effects of the peel over over the course of the next couple of days it's not something for you to put on daily it's not lotion um you put on the peel and then you give it a chance to do its job now after you've put on the peel and you wash it off after the 10 minute period uh i mean the nice thing to do would be to soothe the skin and to soothe the skin the ordinary has a serum which is a hyaluronic acid or moisturizing serum hyaluronic acid two percent plus b5 so it's very moisturizing so i am gonna put that on for some persons what they can do you can just use an ordinary facial moisturizer or if you want to leave it be, leave it be. But I believe in being kind to the skin. So what I'm doing, I'm putting a little bit of that serum. I'm putting it in my hand middle. I used to put it directly on my face and then try to catch the thing as it runs down. But no. Um, I learned a better method, which is to put it in my hand middle. And then warm up. Warm up. The serum. In the palms of my hands. Because this too is oil based. Or very moisture based. It's very oily slippery and then just press that serum into the skin so we're not rubbing we're not doing any further irritation so we have warmed the serum in our hands and we are pressing it into the skin right just like that and ladies if you're gonna do this um the day that you do this don't be putting on no makeup on it i wouldn't put no makeup on my skin that day just let the skin breathe, okay? See there? So it's... This is the... The look of the skin. So it's dewy, but not oily. Even though the actual product is oily. You know, I actually learned something though. Because that way that I just showed you of putting on the serum, putting it in my, my hands and rubbing it, and placing it on the skin, it actually feels better. What I used to do, as I said, I used to just drop the thing and then slather it all over and I'm looking at you like a big oily mess. But I like this. This is... This is much better. I can do the road right now. I cannot stop on the road. And I don't look crazy. Right? Now, remember we say everything that you do to the face, you do to the neck. You don't want to have the 30-year-old face and the 90-year-old neck. Not cute. Alright? And then for me, remember that skincare is in layers. So the last thing you can put, if it is that you have one, is a facial moisturizer. And you know the, the brand I use already, which is a simple kind of skin. Right? I, I don't have a moisturizer from the ordinary as yet but if you do have one or if you have any other gentle moisturizer use it especially if it's meant for the face right but just a little bit because you just did a chemical process so just a little oops that's it time out right so i'm gonna do the same thing like what i did with the serum rub it in my hands and just pat it over the skin and i'm gonna show you all something i'm gonna show you all something real quick if you're feeling fancy if you're feeling fancy raise your hands and then i'll show you feeling fancy all right hold on you see that that's my jade roller that's a skincare tool for the face you can get them cheap 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 on wish online anywhere and i put mine in the freezer that's where i keep mine so after i use it i always wash it off and put it in the freezer to chill. Why? Oh my goodness. When I use my moisturizing products, it is such a pleasure to rub in the moisturizer and the serum with this jade roller. And because it is chilled, Because it is chilled, it depuffs. I know 
after doing such a chemical exfoliation, I feel like a painting. <laughs> after doing such a chemical exfoliation of the skin, anything that can soothe and calm the skin is a plus. This feels so good right now, I can't tell you. It is so soothing. And it has two ends, so you have the smaller end for under eye. So like I said, if you're feeling fancy, you don't need to do this. But if you're feeling extra, you know, you can. What some persons do too, if they have the mask, the little moisturizing mask, it is nice too. So if it is that you didn't even want to just stop at putting on the moisturizer, you prefer to put on a mask, you can put on a moisturizing mask. Just ensure that whatever else you put on the skin after that chemical peel from the ordinary, just ensure that it does not have any harsh compounds, any acids, any chemicals. So you will not be using anything with any acids like benzoyl peroxide, salicylic acid, glycolic acid, lactic acid, none of it. Right? Just keep the, the products as simple as possible and as natural as possible. And then that is it. So that is it and I'm set for the week. Until next week with the product. And all I do, as usual, you know I'm big on my Vaseline. Just pop a little of that on my lips. And I'm going to do a tutorial real soon to show you how to do the lip scrub. But I mean, if you already probably know, which is the sugar with the Vaseline and your scrub. And if you're feeling fancy. <laughs> You can put a drop or two of essential oil in it. And that is it. So, until next time, thank you for tuning in to Beauty and the Budget. And I will see you real soon with more product unboxing and beauty videos. Ciao!